You know, Swami used to uh, play with me a bit on the veranda in uh, in Puttaparthi. He would come around and he was would laugh in front of me and tell everybody, you know, this man, he's a scientist, not scientist, scientist. You know, so one day there were four famous scientists came to visit Swami. And that scientist, all, all these scientists were the top scientists of India. So Swami called the four scientists inside his room and then he looked at me, he said, you are a scientist, come. So I went into the room with all the top scientists uh, in India and then he started to materialize things for all these scientists. He said, you understand this, ask the scientists. The scientists said, no, we don't understand. Then he said to me and to everyone, okay, this is easy to materialize objects, rings and so on. It's easy, but I want to show you something. And he waved his hand and put his hand together. Then he started to raise his hand and to our surprise, there was a little monkey very small monkey. Then he raised his hand further and the monkey grew in size and became a big monkey. Swami let go of the monkey and the monkey was jumping around inside the interview room. So he asked the scientist, you understand this? <laughs> scientist said, no, we don't understand anything. And so he asked me, I don't understand either, Mahaswami. Anyway, then he told me, do you want the monkey? I'll give it to you. I said, no, Swami, I'll give it to the scientists. <laughs> <clears throat> but all the other scientists, the four scientists who were there, top scientists of India, they all said, no, Swami, we don't know what to do with the monkey. So Swami told me to go and get the monkey. He brought it on his lap and put his, put his hand on the head and the other hand on the bottom there and he started to push the hands together. The monkey became smaller and smaller and smaller. Finally, it disappeared. <clears throat> So you see, Swami is really an amazing person. He did all this just to teach the scientists. That is not what we see. That is what we call science. Everything that is around us. You've got to understand something that is inner, within yourself, within your own heart. You've got to understand God. You've got to understand things that are not seen as well. And scientists, including me, I said, we don't understand Swami. But anyway, Swami kept on teaching us a lot of lessons. So that was a great experience. <clears throat>